Let's go to the click on the listen to know what is the what type of measurements are there here. Let's add the equipment dimension here. The equipment support we need is the is base fed thickness and uh, what are the support items are there? They will think will be there in uh, equipment supports. And the remaining will be equipment dimensions. The remaining uh, then the internal emperor diameters and what are the components are there in the general in general motor? Everything will be represented here. And here one more tab is there connections. Connection is nothing but uh, whatever the nozzles are there in our the pumps, it will be represented in uh, this technical connection box. And this is nothing but relationships, is nothing but whatever the components there in this particular equipment will be represented here. Whatever maybe the section discharge is nothing but nozzles and the foundation port is nothing but base plates. And DP1 is nothing but the reference position. These are all the items which is there in uh, pump. And this is nothing but configuration I already told you. Uh, in this uh, status box if you want to, if you place the pro it will not edit it. If you want to edit this uh, pump, we need to place it in working only. Later, we have to the administrative clear some permission groups. There we need to place required permission group, whatever the permission. Group. Presently we are doing uh, this equipment task, right? This that so we have to place that in equipment only, and uh, click on uh, apply to change apply the changes. If you need any. Uh, description to place in uh, GIDs or anything, we need to place in notes, otherwise ignore it. Let's, we will, let's now we will uh, see how to change the nozzle size. First of all, discharge. Here, this, uh, this the NPD unit size will be represented in inches. Uh, so that's why we can uh, see as per that one. Here, nominal size is 8 inches. 8 is number is there. We can place with uh, 8 inches. Okay, this and see this type of connections and everything, otherwise it will not fit with the, the piping path. Okay. Here the NPD is 8 and we will play away, we can change this as 6 and click on apply. Yeah, see it is changing. And we need to change the drive again, it is also, it is necessary to change if whatever the end we have to prepare. We have so many types of uh, Plangents are there, clad face, raised face, and uh, whatever the pair, different types of plangents, and uh, they have to place as per this one. This type of plan preparation will be created by the administrator. And schedule practice. The neighbor knows uh, this uh, schedule. Uh, schedule is nothing but uh, whatever the uh, thickness pipe and which will be mentioned here. What are the thickness, general thickness of standards, or whatever the standards. The generally we are the we generally we are using standard with uh, normal normal pipes. Okay, and as the schedule this is the table thickness and I reminding this is the end practice I already told you this one. I think but uh, this is standards what we are using. This is not required. Uh, no need to enter this one. If there is any requirement by the client, then we can we need to enter this one. And the pressure rating, what we, what the, uh, what, how, what is the rating of the plan we are using for this particular nozzle? We need to enter that particular nozzle rating here. Okay, and uh, this is the production which is given to the general discharge means uh, it is outside. Uh, this closed leaves, this four port is already mentioned here. Why? Because this is discharge and this is the predefined equipment, so that's why it is the already noted here. And everything after seeing this one, see. And we will go to the section. Here section is 10 inches. Now reduce it to 8. See it is reduced. We can also change the type of planges and everything in the uh, discharge section also. It is a predefined thing. We no need to uh, delete or anything. If you want to hide it, hide it if it's possible. But and this is the catalog equipment, no, no, but uh, some in some cases only we can use this catalog equipment. Why? Because uh, in any clients they will leave, uh, they will give some predefined, uh, some designed uh, equipment only. Uh, for the equipment, for the pumps we can place it as it is, no problem. For the remaining vessels or tanks, whatever the displacement tanks or the uh, stirrer machines or something or whatever the components or equipment we, we use, we can really design manually. 
okay after this one we will click on okay if you want to change the base plate I, as today i told that how to change the base plate same same process by right clicking the properties and uh, if you want to place it in a particular position you can place it in a particular position just now i placed this corner of the pump as 000, zero, zero. If you want to place if you want to move this particular component to Here, we, whenever we select in this move button, we have two options here, move from and move to. Move to is nothing but it will take from the uh, reference position of the particular pump, whatever the reference coordinate, where the reference coordinate is defined. Here, see the defined coordinate is there here, see the halo, yellow type, yellow type is coming here. Uh, this there, this is here, the, from this point, this will take, see, see, the total pump will move from those from the that from that point only see and from move from is nothing but we have to define the from point from where we have to define this one I mean taking this discharge generally in any component we'll use this one as discharge as a uh, location point location difference point for pumps we'll give here now first of all we need to enter the yeast value as zero and and not zero elevation zero now it is see how way it is going and click on the screen and click on fit button it can go like this and uh, we are clicking on the fit button we can see what are the component if you miss the component where it is going otherwise see when we are zooming or something we are no don't know why where it is see the screen now it is nothing displaying it is uh, equipment is somewhere is else we don't know where it is for that one we need to select the first of all we need to place the equipment here and in the filter box and later we select the equipment and uh, click on the filter click sorry click on the uh, fit button then the equipment will display whatever this uh, in, in every task or in whatever the piping or anything first of all we need to place the type of filter and we have to select the equipment or anything and click on fit button it will display it will appear in the screen okay let's place one pipe with this one you can understand okay let's go to piping truck and we will place one pipe for this one that's why i'm selecting discharge nozzle there was uh, sorry we have to create the pipeline first of all later we will decide we will uh, place one pipe okay now we need to place uh, the filter box so click on all air uh, here all here and select all and select the pipeline new pipeline here and uh, name rule is our name rule is not necessary and description so we need to replace the fluid requirement click on ok see here we placed one component here but it is outside the hierarchy see if this is there if this is there then it will go to the, the main workspace so that's why we need to place the uh, in, the, in on our required hierarchy first of all select the equipment and click on the system box here and we will see the more option will be there See here it is out, outside the hierarchy. So that's we have to place in our, in our equipment task. Okay, now see now it is came inside. It is, uh, it is there now it is there. If you uh, if the if you place this bit outside, if you want to when we place thing, pressing the refresh button, uh, it will go it will, it will disappear automatically. So we have to place it properly. Now we will place one uh, equipment uh, one uh, piping. So let's see. Uh, let's set up the pipeline number which is discussed in piping sessions let's set pump line 1 click on ok and the name is not defined not necessary but we give the name as pump with 4 inches and this is the specification this is the default specification generally we are using here but we need to use what are the specification mentioned by the client we need to mention the specification 
and select the size it is predefined we have given that discharge as 6 inches so that's why it is taken automatically and uh, we have to give the patch temperature and pressures it has for example 300 and 300 Kelvin and 0 pascals and click on ok it is come with a predefined flange which is already mentioned as per uh, we have mentioned that uh, why it is the type of end preparation as per that uh, end preparation it will come the flange will come okay now we will place one type here same as per this one also same type will give me whatever the number or nothing we have to click on okay sorry we have to create the give the template into this click on okay and for structure and discharge we have some components are there first uh, for structure and everything is, uh, we need some eccentric reducers and everything which is in general view uh, in general cases we can use all these things and components 